Another video for you today, Ultra Video Putty to Oi, fix your issue with .NET Framework 1.1 update. I know this is a older version of .NET work framework, but I think it will certainly suffice for other versions that you might be having problems with, for example, .NET Framework 4. Just recently, an update to Microsoft.NET Framework 1.1 continually fails and you downloaded that file to reinstall it but that fails also with a following error message internal error 2705 directory what can you do about this you ask you tried going to an update site and manually updating which fails you tried uninstalling it which fails <laughs> then you tried reinstalling it just installing microsoft.net framework 1.1 service pack 1 patch should resolve this issue please install microsoft.net framework 1.1 service pack 1 on that system and then install that Windows update. You can try booting it into safe mode if it won't install in normal mode. If it won't install in safe mode then click start then select run and type these commands inet space stop space w u a u s e r v next command net space stop space bits Show hidden files, folders, and system files using Windows Explorer. Navigate to Windows Software Distribution Download. Let's check out that really quick. These are instructions on how to show hidden files in Windows for an appropriate, all the way back to Windows 95. If you're still running Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows Millennium Edition, Windows NT, Windows 2000, Windows XP, and Windows 2003, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8. Not They don't have Windows 10, but maybe in the future they will. These are instructions for each aforementioned operating systems on how to show hidden files in Windows because by default, your a lot of your system files are actually hidden. So once you've went through appropriate instructions for your operating system that you're running, XP, Vista, 7, 8, and even far back as 95 then continue on with these instructions using Windows Explorer navigate to Windows software distribution folder then download folder delete contents of a download subfolder that's where they are first stored when downloaded unless there is not enough room on that hard drive in the first place after deleting downloaded updates restart that system and a AU service will load on startup you might want to set it to disabled until you can reclaim enough disk space or upgrade the memory if possible. If you still cannot install an update to Microsoft.NET Framework 1.1, then run file and registry scans. You don't have to use th this tool. This is my recommended tool of choice, CCleaner, but there are other file and registry cleaning utilities. So use free choice, use whichever one you prefer. Please download and install free CCleaner. Use CCleaner for cleaning your PC and registry cleaning. You may need to run both clean and registry scans more than once. I always recommend I run to run those scans until they no longer find any items. Sometimes it takes a couple times. Sometimes it's more than three. But I keep running a clean scan and a registry scan with CCleaner until they no longer find any items to clean out. Once you have run file and registry cleaning scans, then attempt to install Microsoft.NET Framework 1.1 Service Pack 1 again. Again, these instructions were written for obviously .NET Framework 1.1, but I think certainly they can be used for newer versions of .NET Framework such as .NET Framework version 4. And then a quick download link. This is a proverbial Microsoft download link. Just click on the red download button. It'll download to your machine. When it's done, double click it, run it, install it. You might have to reboot your computer. And then hopefully that will fix your issue. If not, then continue with the rest of these possible tips. You can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other possible potential tips, information, and tricks to help you solve your most common computer problemos. problems. Thank you for listening. Adios.